Okay, this is part two. We have gone round once with all of the openings at the top. Then we're going round a second time with the openings at the bottom. I've managed to get two loaves out of this, obviously because it was two loaf tins or two loaf packets that we used. What we do now is we're going to cover them. If you've got a lid for your containers, fine. If you've not, use some cling film or attempt to use these things. And you leave it for about 20 minutes to prove and then you put it into the oven for half an hour until it's golden brown. Then you take it out and you allow it to cool a bit because it will be piping hot. And then you carve it up and I'll show you when it's carved up as soon as I'm ready. Okay, this has been removed from the oven a little while ago so it's still a little warm but not overly. Now all I'm going to do is slice it and each slice is going to have something different in it. As I said before, you can see your different kinds of meats, your different cheeses. One of these slices is enough for me for my lunch. Kids obviously eat far more than I do. And if you look at this, this has got different things in this layer as well. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to chop it up and put it into some bags and that'll do everybody for their lunch for the next few days. Keep it in the fridge obviously because there's meats and cheeses in it. I believe you could freeze it, however we've never actually had the chance to do that because it normally gets wolfed down before it's had a chance to go in the freezer. So that's that, enjoy, let me know if you try it and what you think.